Hello, Greg Lucer for Online Tennis Instruction. And we've all heard the saying, you know, serving is like throwing. So it's really important when you work on throwing to, to help your serve that you work on the, the correct mechanics. So with my rack in my hand, you know, when I'm throwing, I want to make sure that the knuckles are pointing towards the sky. All right, and that my hand actually will come between my elbow and my ear this way. So that's really key. And then when I swing up to contour while I'm throwing, you notice how the knuckles are pointing to the outside as I leave with this part of my hand, the heel of my hand up to contact before turning it forward. And then when after release the ball, the palm actually points in that direction. Right? Now, a common problem I see, players tend to do this, they tend to, to cock the wrist and then they get into this open racket face position, which then um, can really hamper your serve. So things to avoid when you're working on throwing is to not cock the wrist back here. As we see, see that puts the racket in open racket face. So what you want to do is you want to be nice and loose here and really focus on bending from the elbow at the beginning, where your knuckles are pointing upwards and see how the ball goes between my ear and my elbow and over my biceps. This is really key to start correctly. Now from here, when I start, before I start my release, I want to avoid um, cocking the wrist this way, because this, this would be an open racket face. So I lead with the heel of my hand this way, I would release it, and then the hand turns out. All right, so let's watch, I'm going to throw this nice and slowly. And while you do this, you want to think more about getting height than getting distance. Because on the serve, you want to focus on swinging up. All right, so watch again here. It's really key that I get this part right and I try to lead with the um, heel of my hand, this part of my hand. And then I get this look where I turn out. And you want to do that over and over. Now, other things to take note of, you know, when you throw, we naturally get the weight to our back foot. That actually helps us to turn. So you're going to get the weight to the back foot. And then the left hand plays an important role. You don't want that left hand to fall down and, 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 and away. That's going to cause you to open up. So when you throw, you want to think of this hand, hand you're throwing with, going over the, knot, the, the, the opposite arm, like this, arm over arm. All right, so I'm going to set up this way here. I'm going to throw and I'm going to go right arm over left arm. And I see another one. So weights to the back foot, I'm making sure my knuckles to the sky. And I'm throwing this way. And again, the focus is on getting height more than it is of getting distance or length. So when you work on throwing, make sure you have the correct throwing mechanics and that your knuckles point to the sky when you make this move here. And then when, you, when, you, when you're releasing the ball, try to lead with this part of your hand and then finish with the palm facing to the outside. The serve is, of course, the most important shot in tennis. And because so many players struggle with it, we now started offering one-day serve clinics. In these serve clinics, we'll break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics, click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.